Hi friends, I'm Sincerely Unique and I am back finally with a Genshin Impact video. Usually I do patch note readings, right? But um, I decided to stop doing that actually. And um, we have a special surprise here instead. I got DM'd about this on my community discord and I ran to my computer this morning as fast as I could. We have drip marketing that has been kept locked down from Mihoyo, surprisingly, for a long time now. I've, I'm just absolutely in shock that they kept this new redesign locked down for this long. <laughs> This is one of the new characters that is possibly going to be coming out for patch 3.3. The Wanderer, Eons Adrift, Tribulations Uncounted, Trials Unknowable. This is got a mooch. He is getting a redesign. He is getting becoming playable. I had a feeling that something like this was going to happen since he was going to be a boss in the 3.2 patch here. And yeah, it looks like something is going to be happening to our lovely Scaramouche here uh, during the main scenario where uh, he's going to get a design change and become uh, playable. <laughs> How we're going to get to that scenario is uh, yet to be seen. Uh, I think people are going to be very, very sad to see that his hat design is gone. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I, there is more information to read about this boy. Uh, we will talk about that in a moment. We have that he is Animo, and I believe his p constellation is Peregrinus. And I don't know what Tribulations Encounter Trials Unknowable means. I don't know if that's the name of his story quest or what. And I believe, I can't tell. I think Eons Adrift is his, um, like every character has like a strange name. Uh, I know like Zhang Li, for example, has Vagumundo, so I assume Eonta Drift is like his his extra name. And we have a new other character that got drift marketed, Faruzan, who looks absolutely beautiful. Like just I like her design, but um, <laughs> he reminds me of if you remember at the end of Tenadi's story quest, um. Like, at the end of Tanadi's story quest here, we have uh, a special area where you ended off the story quest in, and Faruzan's design reminds me a lot of that. Hara Vatat household name. Enigmatic machin ma Machinus? Machinus? I don't know. But yeah, she is also Animo, and her constellation is Flos Flosuli Implexi. I don't know how to say that. I don't know what Peregrinus is. Let me look it up on my other monitor. What the heck, Peregrinus? Peregrinus. Oh, that's a philosopher. Uh, what's so special? Oh, no, no, no. There's also a better word for this. It also literally means wanderer. <laughs> it also literally just means foreigner, traveler. <laughs> A foreigner who is neither resident nor domiciled in a jurisdiction of the court. A pilgrim, a wanderer. So yeah, literally, literally just means wanderer. But it also is the name of a philosopher. I don't know if it's significant to, that it shares the name with the philosopher here. Oh my god. This philosopher is most remembered for committing suicide after giving his own funeral oration. Oh my god. I, I, I'm going to hope that there aren't any going to be any parallels to that in Genshin. I mean, considering he's going to be playable in 3.3, he's not going to die, right? Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> but um, he might reincarnate or something like that. Is there anything else I need to look at here? Uh, yeah, I'm going to ignore the TCG. We're going to ignore the TCG. Uh, let's read information on Instagram. This is an interesting place they decided to put this info instead of Facebook. Usually they put it on Facebook for the past few years, but I don't know when they started doing this on Instagram. So yeah, let's check this out. We have The Wanderer, Eons Adrift, Tribulations Encounter, Trials Unknowable. On a fateful night, a figure arrived at a place that had once been called Tatarasuna. There should be no longer have been residents there, but as if destiny had decreed it, a farmer had come there, picking naka weed to make a living. 
Thus, it was under the moonlight that he saw a phantom figure standing on the edge of the cliff. This person wore a wide hat that concealed their face entirely. However, the farmer could hear breathing through the pitter patter of the rain. A moment later, the figure spoke. This is how humans should breathe. The, one, the farmer was terrified that he might encounter some spirit and hurriedly hid behind a rock. The figure spoke again. What are you afraid of? Would a passerby such as I hurt you? I am merely here to tend to the grave of a friend. Oh, I believe we... Um, speaking of that, if you did the Archon quest, you know that Scott Amooch... One of the reasons Scott Amooch is the way he is right now is he lost a friend. And it hurt him a lot. <laughs> Silence filled the air once more. The farmer peeked out from behind the rock and saw that the figure had vanished. A note drifted to the ground and was instantly soaked by the rain. Three questions have been written on that piece of paper, along with answers that were not yet fully written. If humans have a heart, why do they not fear the hearts of others? Due to their, due to their inferior nature, how should one treat others, knowing full well their inferiority? How can a human being be one without a heart? He's probably talking about himself, by the way. <laughs> One without a heart is hardly human. Chills ran down the farmer's spine as he finished reading the note. Tatarasuna had been deserted for many years. It had been a long time since anyone came here to pay their respects. And even if there were, why would they appear on such a night? Now, um, I don't know if that, is the Orobashi quests are going to tie into this somehow. Or if one of the world quests or events that happened in Tatarasuna has to do with what happened to the wanderer's friend here but uh if you if anybody happens to know it'll probably be min's leaf so maybe go check out her video and yelling about this <laughs> anyway let's take a closer look at this boy I, oh no i can't uh let me zoom i'm gonna keep on zooming in but yeah he his design is basically they basically um what is it here mm. they they just read. I'm reminded a lot of like his original outfit, right? Like it looks so much like his original outfit. I think I would have to like take it, take Scada Mooch's Scada Mooch. I would have to take like his actual design and see what the heck they did. He's wearing like um. Yeah, they basically uh. It's very similar to his original design, except it's more, instead of Inazuman themed, I mean, it's still Inazuman themed, right? But, um, they took the color scheme to make it more fitting of Animo. And also, they got rid of the giant veil on his design! <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, it makes sense. If Scudamooch was going to be playable, there was no way they were going to keep that veil around. There was absolutely no way. But yeah, I'm 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 very satisfied with this redesign. I'm sure the Scott of Boot stands are very satisfied with it as well. He looks great. And I am probably gonna roll for him, except we'll see because I also have to roll for Nahida. And we don't know who's coming after this boy officially. And I let me tell you though, I am horrified by the amount of characters I'm actually ending up rolling for here in Subadu. <laughs> I need to actually get my butt sit my butt down and do these events, right? Uh I, I actually missed out on doing a bunch of events uh, lately. I have not done wind chase. I didn't do the the star chasing event or whatever the heck that's called. I've d I haven't done any of those, y'all. It's really bad. So here we have the enigmatic Machinus, Hadavatat household name. I don't I don't know anything about this household. Um, I've not been doing world quests, uh, keeping up with world quests well in Sumadu. I don't know if we've heard of the Hadavatat house before here. There is a legend circulating among the Shwa Oh my gosh, okay. Nishwadar Res students. I'm so sorry for mispronouncing that. It is nine in the morning. I can't I can't handle this right now. <laughs> if you have failed your mechanics exams and do not dare ask for remedial lessons from your displeased tutor, you can make your way to the Haravata next door and ask Madame Faruzan for some tips. There is no need to prepare a gift. Just remember to show sincerity and humility and call her Madam respectfully. That will be sufficient to get into the living encyclopedia of mechanics good graces. 
Madame Faduzan's explanations are simple to understand, yet insightful. Yet her in-depth knowledge really makes people wonder if she had a guide in writing the syllabus. <laughs> her guidance will help resolve the most daunting problems. Though there remain two problems that all students must overcome on their own. The first is how to hide their surprise when they see her youthful appearance. The second is to refrain from asking her why she was shunned in Haravata despite having such an erudition. Ooh, whether she should consider joining Kashwara. If you are fortunate enough to commit one of these faux pas, you shall bear unfor if you are unfortunate enough to commit one of these faux pas, you shall bear witness to rhetoric worthy to rhetoric worthy of a household name in Haravatat, especially in the field of criticizing and reprimanding others. Oh my gosh, she is interesting, but that's like the biggest thing I've noticed though, is her design is very, very forest people of the Sumeru. Like, I wonder if it's because she's involved with the academia? Because her cape reminds me a lot of Al Haitham's, right? But her skirt, it's very, very reminiscent of like, um, you know that shrine that they're probably keeping our, our lovely Archon locked up in? It reminds me of that. It also reminds me of the shrine where you... In the Archon quest, uh, where you meet up with Hapasia again. And she has... And you have the dream in that area. Uh, it happens to be the same place where you meet Tanari at the end of his story quest, by the way. I'm just trying to... In case for people who haven't done Tanari's story quest, I'm trying to say stuff that people should know already. <laughs> but yeah, it, her design is very, very very much like it's it's really interesting like it's an embodiment pretty much of the forest academia people of sumeru and yeah um that is all the officially dripped stuff if there's anything else that's worth talking about uh let me know i decided very much that uh, a better use of my time would be to go over the drip marketing here and just you know, just talk about it. <laughs> and I, I enjoyed doing this video. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of the lovely boy here. Let me know if you're going to be rolling for him. And um, no leak talk, please. By the way, thank you very much. <laughs> all right. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you in patch 3.2 for the Archon Quest on my Twitch. And I will be streaming it on YouTube as well. Do, if you want to keep talking about Genshin, I do have a community Discord in the description below. Thank you so much, and goodbye!